let us start our first example. In the previous video, we derived the Newton action formula and we discussed what are the iterative methods and we also compared between the iterative methods and the direct method or analytical method. If you haven't checked the video, check it so that you can be able to apply this formula. Now, our question here is Diploma in Electrical Engineering, uh, 2018, October, November. And we are told that Roman 1, given that xn is an approximation to the root of the equation x cubed minus 7x plus 5 is equal to 0, use Newton action method to show that a better approximation of the root uh, is given by this formula. And then, by taking x0 or i initial approximate to be equal to 0 0.5, we determine the root correct for the small traces. So let us go about solving this. Now we have a function of x. A function of x is equal to x cubed minus 7x plus 5 equal to 0. From this we can get I f of xn. Function of xn which is equal to x cubed n minus 7xn plus 5. Let us now differentiate this so that we can get the first order derivative of the function of xn, which will be equal to just differentiate the normal way. We know how to do differentiation already by now. This will be 3x squared n minus 7. Substituting that in the Newton action formula. Substituting in the Newton action formula. You already have it here. You say a better approximation to the root that is xn. As well, is given by our previous approximation, which is xn minus the function of our previous approximation is not differentiated divided by the, the derivative of the uh, function of our previous approximation. Now, let us substitute the various expressions over there. We have xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus function of xn which is x cubed n minus 7xn plus 5 over the derivative which is 3x squared n minus 7 we need to get the LCM xn plus 1 is equal to let us get the LCM is of one. So the LCM uh, of one and this is 3x squared n minus 7. We have this divided by 1, it is this, then multiply by this value over there. That's how we solve when we are working with the LCM. We already know that. So we are multiplying this 3x squared n minus 7. Then this value divided by that, we get one. So that one will multiply what is on the numerator. But you have a negative sign there. Take note of that. The one will multiply with what you have here x cubed n minus 7xn plus 5. Let us simplify. We have xn plus 1 is equal to. If we have to open this bracket, it will be 3x cubed n minus 7xn. Open this bracket to be minus x cubed n plus 7xn minus, minus 5 all over 3x squared n minus 7. So now we simplify for the x n plus 1 is equal to I think these two will simplify to 2x cubed 
And uh, this is positive, this is negative. They cancel out minus 5 all over 3 x squared and minus 7. I think it is similar to what we are about to get. Yeah, it is it's similar. Now we have already done part one of the question. Remember, these two parts will give you a total of nine marks in your examination. Now let us go to part one. I mean, part two, you should have said this is one, this is now two. Taking uh, n is equal to zero. n is equal to 0 and the initial approximate x0 is equal to 6, 0 0.5 you say x0 plus 1 is 1 is equal to 2x0 cubed minus 5 all over 3x0 squared minus 7 so now x1 which is the first approximation now we can see to get the first approximation, you must use the initial approximation. Then the next step to get the second approximation, we are going to use the first approximation or the first approximate. This will be twice 0 0.5 cubed minus 5 or over twice 0 0.5 squared minus 7. I said time punch it on my calculator. I already have this work done so that uh, I do not make a video understand it wrong. But you must have your calculator. Accuracy here is of essence. This is a negative 4.75. If I make a mistake uh, when I'm writing, you can always fix your mistake. So that's what you get for the first approximation. So the first approximate x1 is equal to that. But here, accuracy when you are working with your calculator is key. If you keep on making mistakes, then you will not get this one right. For n is equal to 1, you have x2 is equal to 2x1 cubed minus 5 or over 3x1 squared minus 7. And then we put those values, which will be equal to twice uh, 0 0.76. Do what you got, that's what you got. Cubed minus 5 over 3 times 0 0.76 squared minus 7. Now, solving that in your calculator, you are going to get negative 4. Always work with. More than four decimal places. Personally, I'll be working with six decimal places, but you can work with five if you want. Two, six, seven, two. Now, x3. Of course, here you're going to take n is equal to two. So it will be two plus one is three. x3 is equal to uh, three. 2x, 2 cubed, minus 5, or over 3x, 2 cubed, squared, minus 7. This is our iteration to give us the other iterate, which will be now equal to 2 times 0 0.78258888. Cubed minus 5 or over 3 times 0 0.78258888 squared minus, minus 7, which give us our value approximation is equal to 0 0.78288. You can see by now we are correct to three decimal places already. 0782. 0782. We need to be correct to four decimal places. So we need the four decimal places to be similar so that we can finish 
our iteration because we have been told correct for desmopresis. Now we move on and perform the whole iteration. Now we can get the whole approximate and we say taking n is equal to green. You don't have to keep on doing saying that. I'm only doing it to help you understand the concept. Now we have x4 is equal to twice x3 cubed minus 5 divided by twice x3 squared minus 7. I guess I'm correct. We always have to be very careful here so that we do not make mistake. If you make a single mistake, your problem will start diverging. See, now we are converging. 0782. The next one is 0782. It shows consistency. That's what we call converging. If you realize it's getting away from what you are getting initially, just know you have made a mistake, you are diverging. You have to go back, check where you have made that mistake. So 0.7. 8, 2, 8, 1, 6, we are cubing that, minus 5 over 3 times 0 0.78, uh, 0 0.78, 2, 8, 1, 6, minus 7, we can uh, include these steps, but I'm not included here and here, because I'm trying to make the video short. This one will give you now 0 0.78281. The first five decimal places are similar, but you're only interested in the first four decimal places 07828, 07828. Uh, one of the roots to that function f of x is equal to 0 is 0 0.78. Uh, two eight, and now we have our uh, nine marks. So that's how we go about it. Uh, remember, as always, uh, watch the videos online. It really helps when you watch the videos online. Uh, also, leave a question, leave a comments. You can share the video to somebody else, like the video. Those are the things that help a YouTube channel grow, so that it can be able to create more content for you. Because I want to create more mathematic content for those who are in part year, those who are in second year, those who are in third year, so that more people can have way of preparing for the examination when they do not have their teacher around with them. And also especially for those who get to the first, uh, this channel has been a very big benefit to them. Also, what they add that come together in the videos, you never know what you learn from the ad. I've clearly learned a lot by watching the ads as they play together in the videos. That's also another way of supporting the YouTube channel to make more content for you.